Hey guys, here's the uh, Xiaomi M365 electric kick scooter. Uh, it weighs 27 pounds, uh, has a 220 pound payload, uh, does 25 uh, kilometers an hour top speed on flat ground, uh, and goes faster while downhill and uh, slower while uphill. Uh, and it has a top speed of 18 kilometers an hour in the energy saving mode. It, uh, it's got rear disc brakes and regenerative front brakes. Um, it's got an all metal kickstand, inflatable tube tires, uh, a one watt LED headlight and a LED rear brake light. Uh, there is a power indicator. Alright, and uh, and that's also acts as the mode switch. So double tap turns it into uh, power saving mode. And a single tap turns on the headlights. And the taillights. Uh, the battery is a 37 volt battery, uh, fully charged. It's at 20, 42 volts. Uh, capacity of 7,800 milliamp hours. The motor is a 250 watt brushless motor. And in my own testing, uh, I've averaged about 21, 22 kilometers in uh, in range. Uh, that brought it down to about 5% battery left. Here's the brake lights working. They flash when you engage the brakes and they turn on when you activate the lights. Yeah, the brakes are a cable actuated rear disc brake uh, and the, there's a little switch in the lever which activates the regenerative braking. The release mechanism uh, you, it works like this, you fold that, pull the lever, uh, lower down, and then the the bell actually has a hook into it that hooks onto the fender. Push down, and there you go. And now you can carry the unit like so. Under the sticker is the nice shiny stuff. with no Chinese lettering. Shiny. To ride the scooter, you gotta first charge it with the charger that it comes with. Plug it in here. And then there'll be an LED light here. It'll be red when charging and green when done. Before you get going, you're gonna have to. Here's the throttle switch. But before you get going, let's see, you hit the throttle, nothing happens now. So you have to give it a kick and then hit the throttle. And it'll work. This is not a foot brake. The scooter comes partially unassembled. Uh, there will be this neck portion would be disconnected with a wire attached, and these two screws or four screws, those four, would be need, need to be screwed on. <laughs> the construction of the scooter is really nice. I like the details of where the wire passes through. The handlebar, you got this little rubber cover hiding all the wiring. And here's some video of the detail and quali quality of this. <clears throat> appears to be some nice welds. Nice looking floorboard. Got like a rubbery, kind of a rubbery material. Just the connector on this side. 
this little water dust cover. Tire valve to put air in. Here's a look at the underside. I weigh about 175 pounds with my backpack and all the clothing on. And it has a max tire pressure of 50 PSI, but I have mine set to 45 PSI. The steering wheel locks at about 45 degrees. The charger is a 42 volt 1.7 amp charger and it takes approximately 4 hours to ch fully charge the batteries. Banggood does sell uh, spare chargers uh, but they don't sell any spare tire tubes but they do s sell spare tires but the thing is with these tires they're solid construction meaning the ride would probably be a little bit stiffer but at least you won't have any problems with uh, flats or anything like that really so those are your options I got both two of them just in case to connect it to your phone first you're going to want to uh, turn on and then you want to go to the app store and download an app called Ninebot it's for free turn on Then you go to vehicle. Make sure your Bluetooth is on. And I've already connected mine. And it, uh, here it is. This is the app. It's a Segway 9 bot app. This is on a full charge. It'll show 30 kilometers remaining. And then if you swipe to the side, you'll see a little bit more information. Uh, remaining mileage, current riding mileage. Uh, that will reset once the the you turn off the scooter. Uh, the average speed and time. I put about 125 kilometers on this, and the uh, the temperature. I believe that's the temperature of the the controller unit inside. And uh, you can set the recovery mode. Uh, cruise mode is great. I love it. Uh, so what says there? Once you enable this cruise mode, uh, what you do is uh, it's a cruise cruise control. You'll ride, and then you'll hold the throttle down or wherever you want it to be steady for five seconds, and it'll beep, uh, enabling cruise control. And once you let go let go of the throttle, it'll maintain that uh, throttle position. And uh, the energy recovery level, so that's regenerative braking. You'll probably want to leave it a week, as 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 I've heard some people having issues with uh, being on a full charge and then uh, having it uh, recover the energy and, and that would screw up something with the controller unit inside. So I will leave that on a week. Uh, what else can you see with this app? Uh, you can see the settings button. A little picture of the scooter, uh, vehicle settings, well, you've seen this already, uh, firmware update, I'm on version 1.31 and that is the newest one currently, yep, and then basic information, serial number, here you get some uh, Battery information. Uh, so there's a 7,800 milliamp hours. Battery voltage, current, current water strain, battery temperature, serial number, and whatnot. Uh, then you can choose the units for metric or imperial. And that's it. Oh, and the uh, the mileage. 
is still tracked even though you're not connected to Bluetooth. So don't worry about having to connect your Bluetooth every time you ride. You won't need to. It'll still keep track of your mileage. In conclusion, I really like this scooter. I have no regrets in buying it. Um, things I love about it were the, a lot were the inflated tires. They really offer a much smoother ride than the other skateboard style wheels on the smaller scooters. Um, the the average speeds are actually really good. I here I'll have a uh, picture to show you. The I rode 21.8 kilometers, average 22 kilometers an hour. Uh, ended up with 5% battery left, so the range is really well. And that was in uh, I guess the regular mode, not the uh, economy mode or the power saving mode. Uh, I like that it folds. Uh, this way I can park it anywhere at my work um, without really taking up any space. Uh, I've pretty much given up my truck that I normally drive to work uh, for this and uh, it's it's really fun. I go out at night got the nice headlights already pre-built in. <clears throat> Not really concerned about people seeing me with the uh, the rear uh, LED brake light. Uh, I believe this thing looks really great. The quality is awesome. It has a really neat uh, uh, rear disc brake that's uh, actually the rotor is size is 110 millimeters. Um, yeah, well uh, I guess that's it. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll leave you with some uh, riding footage.